Welcome to Karen's Lab. Today, we're gonna to talk about carbon fibers. Carbon is an amazing element and it has outstanding properties. And if we make carbon fibers, basically these ones have the properties of steel, but they're much, 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 much lighter. And they're used in very high-tech applications. For example, in bicycle frames. Do you know that bicycles made out of carbon fibers can cost up to $30,000? Carbon fibers are not cheap and manufacturing the frame is also expensive. No other material can match carbon fiber strength to weight ratio. You can basically lift these bicycles with a finger. We also have carbon fibers in tennis rackets, golf clubs, airplanes. In airplanes, 25% of the plane is made out of carbon fibers. Since the weight is reduced considerably, you use a lot less fuel to fly. Most of the carbon fibers are made from a polymer that is called polyacrylonitrile. The basic molecule is acrylonitrile, this one here, and once you put a whole bunch of these ones together, now you have polyacrylonitrile. Remember the definition of polymer? Poly means many, mirrors molecules. So we have carbon, carbon, then we put another one here and another one here, so we'll have like a million of these. So we have a very rich carbon backbone. The skeleton of the molecule is carbon, 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 carbon. You make the polymer into a fiber, like this, and then you subject this one to different processes, oxidation, carbonization, etching, sizing, graphitization. These processes involve very high temperatures. Once you finish, you have carbon fibers. Then you get a whole bunch of these ones, and you weave them, and you apply a resin, like a glue. Once you have this laminate, then you can start making the frames for the bicycles, the airplanes, the cars. Can we use other materials to make carbon fibers? How about if we try sugar? Let's go to the lab and try to make carbon fibers out of sugar. We know a way to carbonize sugar. Let's try it and see if we can make carbon fibers. Okay, we're here. First, let's do some cotton candy. Wow, this is good. Mm. This is really good. I'm getting really, really, really good at this. Okay, now we've finished and let's pack it in a bag so we can go to the lab and try to carbonize these sugar fibers. We are here at the lab. We have our safety gear, a lab coat, goggles, gloves. We're going to be working with an acid. So we're also going to do it under the fume hood. Before we do it with the fibers, Let's see what happens if we only use sugar. We add a little bit of acid, we stir, and now what's happening? Well, the acid dehydrates the sugar. Dehydrating means that we're removing all the hydrogen and oxygen, basically removing the water that is in the sugar molecule, and we end up with carbon and water and some sulfur dioxide. Let's try it again in a bigger beaker. Same thing, we add the sugar, we add the acid, and we wait for the reaction to happen. There's a lot of heat that is being generated. It's getting really, really, really hot. This is a very exothermic reaction. You can see smoke coming out. It's a lot of water vapor. It doesn't look like a fiber structure, it looks like a quite porous structure. Now let's try with the fibers, beautiful fibers. We have quite a bit of surface area, so we add a little droplet and immediately we're carbonizing it, but we're losing the fibers. We don't have fibers anymore, we just have some type of amorphous material, porous amorphous material. After it cools down, I can store it in a bag and I can keep it so I can do other analysis. It was a good experiment, but we couldn't achieve anything. Well, we achieved carbon and it actually has some other applications, but not for carbon fibers. We could probably use that one for filtration or something like that, but not to increase the strength of anything. This is basically a powder. What's the difference between polyacrylonitrile and sugar? Well, that is why you need to know your chemistry. Let's look at the molecule of sugar. This is the molecule for sugar. 
This is our molecule for polyacrylonitrile. What do you see here? Why is that we couldn't make a fiber? What is it that we couldn't make a 1D structure? Look at the molecule. We have this in here, this in here, and this in here. When we dehydrate it, that is when we remove the oxygen and the hydrogens, well, we basically break the molecule right here. So there's no way to go into a long, long, long fiber. We can only make little tiny powders. Very good reason to pay attention to your chemistry classes. It does matter. Where the atoms are positioned, it matters, and it matters a lot for what's the ultimate application. See you in the next video. Thank you.